diamonds on diamonds. Yeah, yeah. They're using the old diamond yeah. to make the, the new, new diamond. diamond. That's so funny. Right? Yeah. We have learned that diamonds have gotten an upgrade. Uh, extra hard hexagonal diamonds in the lab that are up to 60% stronger than normal diamonds and can be used to create super tough drilling and cutting tools for industrial applications. Sorry, honey, this is not Tiffany's. We used to think the diamond was the most, the, the hardest thing. And then um, people started looking at this thing called the Canyon Diablo meteorite, which is the meteorite that fell on um, Arizona 50,000 years ago. And in this, people started doing like chemical analyses and they thought they saw another form of a diamond. Okay. Okay. Um, it was called Lawn's Delight. Okay. And it was this elusive hexagonal thing, very trace amounts. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, people have been on the hunt to try to make this thing, okay? Because it's gonna be kind of like a holy grail for material science, right? You're gonna get even harder than diamond. You're gonna get novel electrical properties. Mm -hmm. right? Right, right. So you wanna, you wanna try and make it first. Everyone's um, process is basically the same, high stress, high temperature, high pressure. Um, what these guys did, so their setup is actually kind of crazy, um, okay? You've, you, they're, they're trying to reach pressures that are insane. Mm -hmm. 200,000 times the atmospheric pressure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So Mariana's trench is like a thousand atmospheres. Oh, this wow. is 200 times the pressure. So how do we achieve that pressure without blowing everything up? Right. Well, you use the best thing there is, which is a diamond. You make a press what if, out of diamonds. Oh my God. It's called a diamond anvil press. Diamonds on diamonds. Um, and in that you can now start squishing everything so it goes to extremely high pressure inside that thing they put in a single crystal of graphite okay this is like your your the lead in your pencil is graphite so you've got these hexagonal lattices that are on top of each other that are connected by van der waals forces mm -hmm. um which are like just loose forces they're not covalently bonded got it like like the the layer what we want to get is hexagonal layers that are now covalently bonded, bonded in, in, in the, like this like the, crazy hexagonal yeah, yeah. sort of um, crystal. Yeah, yeah. Right? They pump it with all this pressure. They have lasers that are heating it through always, the diamond. Always have lasers. Always have lasers. Well, and then they create this this structure that they think is um, this hexagonal diamond. They haven't created like trace amounts. They've created something like that's as big as a millimeter, which oh, sounds wow. like a, sounds like small, but like, dude, that's you know that's what ten to the twenty atoms. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot. Yeah, like, uh, people had done way way less. Right. Where like you got to go into with the electron microscope and be like, ah, hey, right there, see, like that little part, that little part there has got a hexagonal diamond. That's a diamond. Yeah, yeah, but here it's like okay, a millimeter. I can like see that with yeah, my yeah. naked eye. Yeah, you know.